Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to CS2 for the C Spire 2023 Meet the Players. We're here on the campus of GW Long in Skipperville, Alabama to see what the Rebels have for the upcoming 2023 season. And what's your name? Grayson Haynes. And what position do you play? Offensive tackle and defensive end. You're junior this year, correct? Yes, sir. What are you most excited for about this upcoming season? Keeping the intensity up and getting better as the year goes. Absolutely. That's always a goal. Appreciate it, man. And what's your name? Sway Kirkley. And what position do you play? Running back and defensive end. You're junior this year. Yes, sir. And what are you most excited for about this upcoming season? State championship. Y'all going to get there? Oh, yeah. All right. We look forward to seeing you there, man. Appreciate it. And what's your name? Cameron. And what position do you play? Cornerback and wide receiver. Uh, what classification are you? Junior. And what, what are you most excited for about this upcoming season? Ayrton game. All right. Seems to be a common, common answer. Appreciate it, man. And what's your name? Blaine Wood. And what position are you? Tight end and inside linebacker. What classification are you? 2026. Uh, what are you most excited for about this upcoming season? Probably the rivalry game against Ayrton. That seems to be a common answer. You ready for it? Yes, sir. All right, man. Appreciate it. Thank you. And what's your name? Grayson Hodges. And what position do you play? Tight end and outside linebacker. What classification are you? 2026. And what are you most excited for about this upcoming year? Definitely the Ayrton game. All right. Appreciate it, man. And what's your name? Evan Pritchett. And what position do you play? Uh, tight end and outside linebacker. What classification are you? 2026. And what are you most excited for about this year? Probably the rival game against Ayrton. All right. We wish you all luck. Appreciate it. What's your name? Uh, Jordan Pruitt. And what position do you play? Inside receiver and safety. What classification are you? 2026. And I, I got to bring up the cast. I mean, it's matching. It's GW Long Colors and everything. What happened there? Can you explain? Um, I broke my hand. I can play, though. I got a pad. Wrap it. Good to go. All right, sweet, man. I'm looking forward to seeing you. Uh, what are you most excited for about this upcoming year? Um, definitely the Ayrton game. All right, man. I, I'll shake your left hand. I don't want to hurt it anymore. <laughs> Appreciate uh, it, man. And what's your name? Dustin Beverett. And what position do you play? O-line, D-line. What classification are you? 26. And what are you most excited for about this upcoming year? To be able to play and bust some heads. All right, that's a good answer. Are you you going to do that all season? I sure hope so. All right, man. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. And what's your name? Bryson Hicks. And what position do you play? Right, guard and right tackle. Uh, what are you most excited for about this upcoming season? Um, I'm just ready to hit somebody. I like that answer, man. You scared me with that. Hey, hey, put in some work out there, baby. Let's go. And what's your name? Bryce Nebronco. And what position do you play? Wide receiver. What classification are you? 27. And what are you most looking forward to this year? Being able to play football this year. All right, man. Appreciate it. And what's your name? Hunter Smith. And what position do you play? Wide receiver. What classification are you? 27. And what are you most looking forward to uh, in this upcoming season? Playing the first game. Who's that against? Uh, like McKenzie. Oh, that's going to be a good game. It's going to be a good game for y'all. Appreciate it, man. And what's your name? Marvin McLeod. And what position are you? Outside linebacker and right tackle. And what grade are you in? Uh, freshman. Class 2027. You're starting on varsity? Yes, sir. I, that makes sense. You're a, you're a big dude for a ninth grader. Uh, what are you most excited for this season? Uh, being an editor. I can see that. You going to make that happen? I see it. Let's go, man. Appreciate it. And what's your name? Uh, Cole Andrews. And what position do you play? Running back. What classification are you? 27. And what are you most excited for this upcoming season? I'm ready to get back out there. I got bulging discs in my L4 and L5, so I'm just ready to get out there. Ooh. How'd, you, how'd, how'd that happen? Uh, I was throwing limbs over my head, stacking firewood. You're country boy. Yeah. <laughs> All right, man. Well, we're looking forward to seeing you out there. Appreciate it. And what's your name? Jalen Hickerson. And what position do you play? Slot receiver, safety. And what classification are you? Ninth grade. And what are you most looking forward to in this upcoming season? Make it as far as we can to the playoffs. All right. Appreciate it. And what's your name? Jeremiah Harrison. And what position do you play? Running back, safety. Well, yeah, running back, safety, and wide right receiver. Okay. And so you're the role, you're the role player of the team, huh? I mean, but both sides of the ball in two positions on offense. I, I'd say that's a role player. Uh, so, what are you most looking forward to in this upcoming season? Um, to show people like what we made of and yeah, stuff like that. Absolutely. I, I, how how what's your practice schedule like during the summer? Is it pretty rigorous? Yeah, it's pretty busy. And it's pretty hot, ain't it? Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, hey, all that work's hopefully gonna pay off. Yes, sir. All right. Appreciate it. Can't wait. And what's your name? D'Anthony Simpson. And what position do you play? Uh, outside linebacker. What classification are you? 27. And what are you most looking forward to this upcoming season? Just playing football and making the playoffs. Absolutely. Always a great goal. Appreciate it, man. And what's your name? Connor Baker. And what position do you play? Receiver and corner. What classification are you? Freshman. 
And what are you most looking forward to this upcoming season? Uh, probably just improving from last season, getting further in the playoffs. All right, appreciate it. And what's your name? Grant Moore. And what position do you play? Lyman. And what are you most looking forward to this upcoming season? Playing my first varsity game. All right, and what classification are you? Freshman. You going to play on varsity? You ready to handle it? Maybe. All right. Hey, that'd be confident. Yeah, you say yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's ready. He is ready. All right. Appreciate it, man. We're looking forward to seeing you out there. And what's your name? Dakota Sutton. And what position do you play? Rod tackle. What grade are you in? Eighth grade. Big old eighth grader, man. I would be, I, honestly, if I was a quarterback, I'd be scared seeing you rush after me, man. I'd drop the ball immediately. What are you most looking forward to in this upcoming season? Uh, just to get to play on varsity as an eighth grader. I mean, keep – Keep up what you're doing in the weight room. That That's probably going to happen pretty soon, you think? Hey, man, we look forward to seeing you out there. Appreciate it. And what's your name? Brody Dismix. And what position do you play? Tackle. What classification are you? Uh, senior. And what do you most – well, what do you have planned after high school? Uh, Just go work at a body shop. That's it. Hey, that's all right. Make an honest living. And what's your name? Rama Daniels. And what position do you play? Kicker. Okay, okay. You got a soccer background? Uh, a little bit. Okay. Um, what are you most looking forward to in this upcoming season? I guess the hard work we put in this whole summer and just the effort. All right. And you're a senior this year? Yes, sir. Uh, do you have anything planned for after high school? I'm going to construction. All right. Going to kick some cinder blocks uh, up, up the building. Is there anything like that? No? All right, man. We appreciate it. Good luck. And what's your name? Preston Williams. And what position do you play? Wide receiver and quarterback. What classification are you? Class 2027. And what are you most excited for about this upcoming season? Be able to go out there and, and put on the show in front of our fans and show what we've been working on this whole summer. All right. We appreciate it, man. And what's your name? Bryson Hughes. And what position do you play? Quarterback. You're a senior this year? Yes, sir, I am. Well, uh, what are you most excited for about this upcoming season? Um, I'm just ready to go out there and show people what we've been working on. We've really been grinding this season. I'm ready to see what happens. And w do you have any plans for after high school? I'm going to have chicken houses and cows. All right. Yes, sir. You're a farmer? I am. All right, man. Appreciate it. And what's your name? David Henderson. And you're a senior this year? Yes, sir. What position do you play? Wide receiver and safety. And what are you most excited for about this upcoming season? Just to get out of there and show everybody that we've been putting the work in. Do you have any plans for after high school? Uh, go play basketball somewhere. Any, any schools in mind? Uh, not really. All right, man. Just go with the flow. Thanks. Plenty of time to decide. And what's your name? Braden Whitehead. And what position do you play? Running back, slot receiver, and safety. And you're a senior this year? Yes, sir. And what are you most what are you, what are you most excited about, about this upcoming season? To show everyone what our team has and what we've been working on all summer. And how much work have you been putting in all summer? What's your schedule like? It's hard. I come up here on scheduled time in the morning at 6 o'clock, and then I'll come up here by myself in the afternoon and work out. All right, yeah, putting in – it's it's all about what nobody sees, what really matters on the field. Do you have any plans for after high school? Plan to go to college to play football. Anywhere in particular? Any offers? Or where's your dream school? Dream school right now is Troy. All right, I go to Troy. I'd love to see you out there, man. I'd love to play there. All right, man, I appreciate it. And what's your name? Braden Jordan. And what position do you play? Center or nose guard. You're a senior? Yes, sir. And what are you most excited for this this upcoming year? Just to be able to show everybody what our off-season grind's been like and how hard we've been working out there. Uh, do you have any plans for after high school? I'd like to attend Troy if I'm able to. Any uh, any field of study? Uh, right now I'm thinking maybe about criminal justice. Yeah, we have a great department for criminal justice, great law department. Appreciate it, ma'am. Thank you. And what's your name? Lane Sewell. And what position do you play? Center Nose. Well, uh, you're a senior this year? Yes, sir. Uh, what are you most excited for in the upcoming season? Just to honestly – just to show everybody how hard we've been putting work in and show them what we can do and that because everybody else don't believe in us, but we believe in our team and ourselves. Absolutely. It's been a long summer, has it not? I, I'm sure practices out there have been absolutely brutal. Yes, sir, they have. But, I mean, it's, it's all going to pay off this fall, ain't it? That's right. Uh, what do you plan to do after high school? I'm going to go to Wallace. To, I'm going to go to Lima School, mm -hmm. and, go, and I'm going to get my, what's it called, my electrical degree mm -hmm. and farm. Yeah, great program. I, I know plenty of dudes out there making pre pretty good money. So, I mean, straight off the bat, you can get a good salary for sure, yeah. man. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. And what's your name? Hunter Kirshner. And what position do you play? Defensive end and left tackle. Uh, what year are you? 2025. And what are you most excited for this upcoming season? The Ayrton game. 
Y'all ready to get payback? Y'all lost last year. We're ready. We're ready. All right, man. We wish y'all the best of luck. Thank you. All right, what's your name? Hunter Hagler. And what position do you play? I'm a defense end. And you are a junior, correct? Yes, sir. And what are you most excited for this upcoming season? Uh, being back on the field. I tore my ACL last year, so getting back out there is a big thing to me. That's great, man. We look forward to seeing you out there. All right, thank you. And what's your name? Benny Groves. And what position do you play? Linebacker and right guard. What classification are you? Junior. And what are you most excited for this upcoming year? The Ayrton or Hobus game. All right, man. You're going you're gonna to show out? I'm going to try. All right, man. We look forward to seeing you out there. And what's your name? Mike Hawkins. And what position do you play? Left guard and defense end. And what are you most excited for this upcoming year? Uh, I'm excited to play Ayrton and Rogers. And you are a junior this year, correct? Yes, sir. Are you going to show out? Oh, yeah, I'm definitely going to show out. Oh, we're looking forward to seeing you, man. Appreciate it. And we're here with Coach David Watts. Nice to, nice to meet you. So the Rebels last year, an 8-4 and four record overall, and 6-1 and one in the region. What are we focusing on to try and improve that record a bit this year? Well, last year, you know, we had a lot of success on the offensive side, throwing the ball, not nearly as much running it. Uh, the physical side of things is something that we've spent a lot of time focusing on, and, uh, you know, I think that's the place that we could improve the most. So just trying to improve those weak links and get them up back to you know, GW Long Standards. Yeah, we, you know, we've got to be able to run the football. I, you know, I'm, I'm a, I like to throw it, mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, we've had a lot of success doing that, but – We've got to get back to where we can run the football. And if we can do that, I feel like we'll have a chance to maybe to improve that. Absolutely. Uh, so the only loss in the region was against Ayrton. What will be the game plan when you guys face them week three this year? Uh, you know, both of us have new teams this year. I don't know. You know, we'll, we'll take a look at it when we get to it. Uh, you know, but, I mean, the same things apply. You know, we, we've got to worry about us mm -hmm. right now. Uh, you know, Ayrton will have a good football team back, and they won't be the only team in the region. Mm -hmm. They will have several that will be tough ones. So we got a lot of work to do on us right now. Absolutely. Uh, what's the importance – I mean, we're, we're shooting in the weight room today. What's the importance of the weight room to this football team and just football in general? Well, you know, we, we don't have uh, the, the guys we can just walk on the field and just out-athlete people. Mm -hmm. Our guys know that. Our coaches know that. Uh, so we tell them all the time that, you know, if we're going to be able to beat people in the region that we play against the quality opponents that we play against, we're going to have to be able uh, to have an advantage and edge somewhere. And this is a place that we can, you know, possibly get that. So we try to work really hard in here to, to gain a little edge somewhere. And what's the schedule like uh, for weight rooms in the summer and during practice? Or, or what's the weight room and practice schedule like during the summer? Well, we go three days a week. We did Monday, Tuesdays, and Thursdays, and uh, we worked out at six in the morning. So we did our weights and conditioning uh, from six to about eight o'clock, and then uh, football stuff after that. It's been a hot summer, has it not? It, it has been. Uh, you know, I was out right before we were getting ready to go out to practice yesterday. Was working outside and uh, just checked. I, I knew it was extremely hot. I checked my phone, and it said the heat index was 119. And that with pads on and helmets on, oh my gosh. But so how, how's the schedule going to change during the year? What, what days are you going to be going on practice and weightlifting and all that during the year? Yeah, well, we'll, we'll be in school. And so, you know, we'll, our weightlifting schedule is spread out throughout the day. Uh, so we'll, we'll have different classes in throughout the day and we'll get our lifting done then. And we just hit out right after school's over with. All right, all right. Uh, what matchup are we most looking forward to this, in this year in the schedule? Well, I, you know, I, I don't know. We, they're all going to be big for us this yeah. year. Uh, we lost a lot of really good football players off last year's team. We got a lot of question marks. We got a lot of young guys that are going to have to step up and play for us. So, you know, they're all big for us. Uh, you know, we obviously uh, that team down the road in Ayrton is a big rivalry. That seemed to be the consensus with the players, you know, yeah. And, and all the players, you know, we, we haven't beat those guys in a couple years and, uh, you know, so that's a big focus for them. Obviously, we'd like to get back on the other side of that one, but there's a lot of really good teams in the region and, uh, you know, it's going to be a tough matchup for us every week. And bouncing off that leadership, who, who are some of the guys you're looking at to take, a, to take a leadership role this year? Yeah, well, we've got our quarterback back from last year, Bryson Hughes, and Bryson uh, was he played we tried to limit the amount of time he played on defense last year but he's going to have to play for us at outside linebacker or safety on defense this time and he's going to have to step up a little bit in the in the run game did a real good job throwing it last year we tried to protect him a little bit so 
he's going to be important. Braden Whitehead uh, is a guy that was very versatile for us. He's a really good safety, uh, ball hawking guy on defense. On the offense side, he plays running back. He plays the slot. He's a guy that we can put in the backfield and, and motion him out. We can throw it to him from the backfield. So he's extremely important to us. And, you know, we, we're searching up front right now, uh, both sides of the football, looking for guys to step up on the offensive and defensive lines, and hopefully we can get those places settled and be ready to go. So y'all are two-way. We've been to Ayrton, we've been to Zion Chapel, and I've asked them all the same question. Pretty small schools in two-way, you know. And, you know, you don't have – a huge selection of athletes. You got guys playing on both sides of the ball, and for the most part, if you're an athlete, you play one sport, you're more than likely going to play them all. Uh, you got guys playing football, basketball, and baseball. What are your thoughts on multi-sport athletes and how they develop compared to like one-sport athletes? Well, you know, there's it's different movements in all the sports, mm -hmm. and, uh, and and I encourage the guys to play uh, all sports. You know, we I don't think we've got very many guys that are just football players yeah. in our locker room. Uh, most of our guys are at least two sport athletes and we've got several that are three sport athletes and you know I, I think it's important the uh you know for all of it the strength the toughness that comes from football the mm -hmm. the agility the movement that comes out of basketball and, and baseball is such a skilled sport and the competition it's one on one yeah. and the mental toughness that comes from that I think all playing all of them is extremely important all right all right so what's been the primary focus of practicing this summer besides staying cool? Uh, what's been the biggest thing we're implementing this summer? Yeah, you know, we've really been focusing in, in here in the, in the weight room, a lot of uh, conditioning stuff. We don't have huge numbers, and so, you know, we're really focusing on trying to get our guys in, in the kind of shape, you know, these first few ball games. You know, I just said it was 119, you know, with the heat index the other day. and. So there's a lot that goes into that to get guys ready to be able to play in a football game and play both sides, and not just playing offense and defense. You know, when we punt it, they're going to have to run down yeah. on the punch too. And when we kick it off, they're going to have to run down and cover kick. So that's important. And then, you know, I've already mentioned it, the, the lines of scrimmage on both sides, being able to stop the run and being able to run the football. You know, we were able to, to do a decent job stopping the run last year, but we just never were able to establish the run game on the offensive side. And so that's a huge focus for us. And the last question for you, what overall are you just most excited about for this upcoming season? I, you know, it's a brand new team with a lot of new faces. Uh, so I'm just really excited to see those young guys get out there and see what they can do. All right. Coach, thank you so much for talking to us. We wish you all the best of luck this season. Thanks.